holy crap this this episode literally just like holy crap this episode just hit me in the feels not just like literally you know emotionally but physically like literally my chest was in pain like watching this episode like I was tearing up by the amount of feels that were happening in this one like I literally was just like feeling so sorry for Subaru and Rem and everything that is going on in this episode it was literally like holy crap like literally I've been saying this for a while now that every episode you know is getting better and better and better every arc has been getting better and better and better and literally this anime in my opinion from how it's gone so far with the characters the voice acting the whole story in general just everything that was put into this so far has literally in my opinion it's only been halfway through the year and I already feel like this, there's no way that there's another anime that can compete with this in taking like anime of the year in my opinion it was literally this episode alone was literally one of the best episodes I've ever watched of an anime like in this whole year period that's how crazy it really was like literally just holy crap this arc has just literally been insane you know I've been saying that I love the way that the first two arcs were and this arc has just changed completely different we don't have you know your normal main character which he's like a he's perfect in every way he's awesome cool guy that kicks everyone's ass we have a main character Subaru that literally has so many you know faults as well he he's not perfect in any way he has many of these things that make him we kind of like for a while in these last few episodes have been disgusted with him have not you know they've made the the audience hate the main character in so many ways from how he's been acting and everything and he's just suffered so much that now like in this episode in particular he's literally his mind is just plain broken and then you think that he's just completely insane he's mentally insane he's just crazed out you see how he is and then all of a sudden you get this new main bad guy I forget what his name was but he is literally just the like he is insane and crazy and when he tells Subaru that why are you acting why are you acting like you're insane when you're not really I'm just like what no ways dude Subaru's been through so much his mind is broken but he says this and it really gets me thinking like constantly like I think there's like three examples in this episode that could you could see that he's not fully insane if he was fully insane beyond point of saving then he would not you know have any expression towards anything like obviously when um, he had an expression when you know he wouldn't know what's going on around him for that's what I mean and the the moments were one when he was you know they were on the the cart going there and the dragon's head got cut off and he falls down and he starts looking around like what's going on and then there's also the part when you know when he first sees our main villains face he gets scared and flinches back and including at the very you know end when he sees Rem's strangled corpse he just rages out and starts getting pissed off so in a way it's kind of like Subaru was acting for sympathy from everyone kind of thing like he actually just got caught being shown you know yeah he was actually well in a way he's not full on acting he is a little crazy obviously anyone would be after seeing everything that he has everything that has happened in this episode including what happened in the last one and the beginning of this one where he sees everyone die and then all of a sudden he ends up dying again and his mind is literally just broken and he does not know what to do at all we even see a little bit of like flashbacks of him thinking you know he could solve any problem he could do anything obviously before right and now he just thinks no he doesn't know what to do he's lost he's confused he rather just like sulk in his own way instead of trying to fix this problem in this episode he was just trying to act all he was just crazy and literally just not moving at all Lane Rem take him around everywhere and then oh my gosh I'm a, I'm a person that honestly from the get-go I've honestly loved Amelia she is my favorite character before and I wanted her and Subaru to be together now I've loved Rem she was the main character pretty much of the second arc 
and in this one so far she's also taking a main seat in so far what's been going on and it just makes it so hard for you and for me in general to you know not see rem as the better girl like i like how can you how can you top that after seeing rem strangled and oh my gosh that, that moment when it was just twisting her and everything i was just like oh just what the hell you know this guy is literally crazy just the way he is and he just strangles her and all of a sudden she after everything she crawls her body able to heal a little bit and pull herself even though she's in so much pain get to subaru free him and help him save him and then her last dying words you know before she died i'm pretty sure she died right there was i love you holy crap like what is subaru gonna do now that he knows you obviously know subaru really really likes amelia but after all of that after everything that rem has done throughout this whole arc how she's been with him how at the very end seeing that happen to her and then seeing her literally crawling to him i was literally my chest was hurting so much at that point i was literally tearing up i was like oh my gosh rem and when she just said i love you i i honestly i did not know what to say i was literally just like speechless and it was so sad like that's another good thing like literally like normally i'm the kind of you know normally it's always like main character main guy character will end up with main girl character and everything and normally i would like that because i like amelia a lot but after seeing everything that's happened and i've always you know i've liked rem before as well just to the point where you know you, you you could be on the side but now it's like all you've been seeing is rem 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 it's not fair of course obviously for amelia because we haven't seen her and maybe later on in the future we'll get more development with her as well but at this point in time in this episode in the arc right now there's no way no possibility that anyone in my opinion could be like amelia's best girl no like literally even me after i love amelia as well like after seeing how rem has been and grown from the second arc to this arc how she's acting now in that moment going to save him when she, she didn't you know she did everything she could to save him even in the end when she died she crawled her body even though it was mangled which i don't know like literally her neck like twisted and stuff that was gross her arms twisted her legs twisted that guy just twisted and mangled her body she crawled herself to him broke him free and then like oh my gosh like oh like literally this episode literally just played with your emotions seeing subaru have to go through so much suffering seeing this all this stuff happen to rem was just it was literally amazing like literally the best episode so far and literally the best arc so far and literally the best anime of this year so far in my opinion that literally the voice acting was on point subaru his his pain throughout the whole episode when he starts raging out i you can literally feel the emotion seeing hearing you know rem's voice as well when she's crawling and saying i love you it's just oh my gosh even the main bad guy he literally personifies scary creepiness like he's just like all his body's all over the place <laughs> you know like it's pretty damn creepy and then he goes to this serious tone all of a sudden for a certain time goes back to creepy he's like literally mentally unstable going in when you have a mentally unstable person like him call you out and say oh you're not crazy it's like whoa okay even though Subaru's already crazy as you can see you could see this guy's on a whole nother level of crazy just his facial expressions the his voice acting as well literally was just like on point and like that moment when he was like licking his Subaru's eye I was just like oh man that is just nasty this anime literally has gone from it was always kind of a little dark in the beginning and it gets darker and darker and this arc so far has just been so dark so gruesome with the amount like the way obviously we've been shown deaths constantly throughout this anime already with Subaru and everything and seen some pretty gruesome stuff but this episode takes it with Rem mangled body the amount of corpses you see all over the place in at the mansion in the village seeing Subaru 
have to go through so much his even at the beginning with his you know when he opens up the tries to open the door his fingers come off his leg comes off and he freezes over and you hear a voice as well which i actually was thinking wait that sounds kind of familiar and that's actually puck including at the very end i'm pretty sure as well that big monster thing that ends up saying go to sleep sleep with my daughter or whatever like that sounded wrong it wasn't like that but that was puck i'm pretty sure and i've read some in the forums too as well that people have been saying that's puck so that's pretty crazy to hear and see as well obviously that he was too late the first time the second time i guess he was all you know seeing what happened um obviously he feel he, he sees the pain that subaru's in and he just like go to sleep you know takes him out of his misery kind of thing because like Oh man, that also wow! The motion when he's just walking with Rem in his arms as well was just purely just. Oh, sorry. Give me some time to breathe. Give me some time to breathe a little bit because literally this this episode just everything from the characters and just seeing Subaru in so much pain, seeing Rem in so much pain, seeing this crazy guy personified. Of creepiness and scariness sloth this whole thing he keeps talking about you're the blah 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 of sloth you know you're the personification of sloth this is your slothing all that kind of stuff and even for a moment he calls Subaru like he's like oh are you pride and we've seen this before that in the last episodes that we see that it's his pride that's always in the way that's why he keeps doing all these kind of things is that's why he you know fought the what's his name that one guy because of his pride his pride while it shows that this guy's sloth and he's kind of like pride and I'm guessing maybe there's more of the sins as well more of the I think he was a bishop or something in the witch cultist I'm guessing that there's more of them as well he's sloth maybe that's why he's saying that he's pride I'm not too sure that could be wrong as well but just literally this episode was just I honestly can say that from the start to the end was just so emotional and it's another episode where we of course don't get the opening and the ending holy crap when like I've seen you know a lot of animes with endings and they have the music going in with the animation visuals in the back at the same time and this one the music the soundtrack in this episode was so amazing it fits so well with everything that happened from the creepiness with the main villain to the depression of him walking to the mansion seeing all the bodies everywhere carrying Ram's dead body seeing Ram dead seeing that everyone is dead and he doesn't know what to do it was just, it just fits so well like literally everything so far like I'm pretty much just rambling and this is actually a pretty long video at the moment I think but literally it's just this episode was literally just an amazing episode that literally caught us caught us onto the field train fields train and just kept going and going and going and doesn't even end at the very end where he find he ends up waking up of course back into the spot where he was before and he starts taking you know rem along with him and he has this evil look in his eye like he's gonna kill that guy and honestly I cannot wait for him to do that because literally I want that guy to die for what he did to rem was just Oh my gosh, this, I want to kill him myself. Like, literally, what the hell? Oh, man. Honestly, just literally an amazing episode. That's all I got to say, guys. I'm going to end the video here before I start rambling more and more about everything that happened in this episode. Because, literally, it was such an amazing episode from the visuals to the voice acting to the soundtrack to just the emotional turmoil that is going within Subaru from... You know, Rem struggling, saying she loves him, all this kind of stuff going together in one episode literally just hit me emotionally and physically. I was literally just like, after this episode, I was just like, oh, okay, so I got to make a review on this. And there's so much I want to talk about. And I'm so happy I was able to put all, you know, say all everything I wanted to say, but. Oh, just an amazing episode, guys. But yeah, that's all I got to say, guys. So hope you guys enjoy this anime kingdom review. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. If there's anything I missed and you want to talk about, comment below as well. Or if you have your own opinions on anything that happened that I talked about different, you know, or the same and you just want to talk about it, feel free to comment below as well. And like I said, like I always say, if you did enjoy, don't forget to leave a like. And if you haven't already, please feel free to subscribe. It really does help the channel grow and just... 
I can't wait for next week's episode to see what's going to happen. Like, literally everything that happened in this episode was just pure amazing from... Literally, I have so much emotions on me right now. I I, I got to lie down because <laughs> seriously, what the hell? <sighs> but yeah, until next time, guys. See ya.